you want to stave off cognitive decline, Alzheimer's dementia, you want to preserve mental function. Lifelong learning is really key when you learn stuff to birth new neurons and make new neural networks. Dynamic motion, the brain sort of locks onto it and we remember it and we learn from it. It produces angiogenesis, the birth of new blood vessels that supports those new neurons and neurogenesis, the birth of new neurons. So dynamic motion improves both the brain and the body at really key levels over time, which is why, by the way, in Summit County, Colorado, people live an extra 10 years than they do in the rest of America. But are they considered blue zones? They're not considered blue zones. So it seems to be, there's a bunch of different things that you have to, boxes that you have to check to count as a blue zone. Most of the blue zones have much more homogenous populations. Loma Linda is a Seventh-day Adventist community. It's very outdoors focused. They do a lot of huge hikes together as a community. So you get the same kind of benefits, but there's also dietary stuff and no alcohol and a handful of things, which is why I think they get the blue zone designation. One of the places my research started is we were doing stuff with our dogs. We were getting fantastic results with our dogs. We were putting their dogs into flow, using a bunch of other sort of low tech, high tech solutions, like common sense, nutritional solutions, and you know, just really basic stuff, but getting amazing results. They would come in hospice care with late stage cancer and heart disease. It's really sick and we get like three to five more years. And they were supposed to live a month or two. And we were like, wow, these are great results. Over 700 dogs have sort of moved through our facilities. So we saw it a lot. And we started asking questions about like, why is this happening? Is it just dogs? Could it happen for humans? And it turns out there's a giant movement in canine welfare to double pet lifespan. So there's a ton of people who are working on these exact problems and looking at things that we were looking at. And then when I started looking into, hey, who's doing this work in humans? It was the blue zones. It was the same work and they were finding the same things. We were looking at lifestyle changes. And when we started mapping what we were doing with dogs and what other people were doing with dogs under what was happening in blue zones, they mapped. It was almost one-to-one. -one. And that was what one other thing that sort of kindled my interest in this field. I was like, this stuff is working in dogs. It's also working in people. And when you get under the hood in the blue zones, there's really, there's stuff I care about. Like there's a lot of time in nature and why does that work? And those kinds of questions, it was fascinating. But yeah, blue zones are basically about lifestyle hacks, right? You want to live yeah. with passion, purpose, regular access to flow.